Hi, I'm Hazel. It's almost Saturday today, and that makes it time to sit down and catch up on the WoW news of the week, what I've been up to, and answer some of your questions. This week, Blizzard made the controversial announcement that they are bringing the token to WoW Classic in China. There is, as of now, no real reason to believe that they're going to do this for NA or EU, but for the Chinese market, Classic WoW is getting the tokens, so they're going to be able to use their gold to buy game time, and they're going to be able to use their money to buy gold. The obvious elephant in the room is you couldn't do that during Classic, and I should clarify that I don't really have any skin in the WoW Classic game, so my opinion doesn't mean much. I don't think it's that bad just because even though the WoW token was not in Classic WoW, uh, gold selling was. And I'm not convinced that the experience of having your account stolen because you bought gold is really what WoW Classic needs for that authenticity. So that's just me, but I am curious about how the WoW Classic Western audience feels about a potential token, I would be interested to see some data. I'm also curious about what the price difference turns out to be between WoW token for classic and WoW token for live in gold, specifically. At this time, we're not gonna have a good idea of that because gold values in Asian markets tend to be different just to begin with. But it would be interesting just because that's a metric that you can use to kind of judge how much uh, inflation that we've had over all these expansions. And I wonder if it would keep pace with that inflation, if it would be like a direct shrinkage or if uh, if the way that people play WoW Classic now would have any impact. Just interesting stuff. This week in Live WoW, we got some noticeable and very welcome hotfixes to the horrific vision entry key situation. So previously you had a cap of five vessels, so you could only stockpile five entries to horrific visions. And while the world quests gave more coalescing visions than they did on launch, they gave still an, an amount that I suppose some people feel wasn't enough because they've hot fixed it and it's more. As of the most recent reset, world quests and assaults are both giving way more coalescing visions and there's no longer a cap on how many vessels you can store. So if you just like really hate Assault on Stormwind, you could theoretically just stock up all of your attempts and then use those all on Orgrimmar weeks. Um, they've also changed how many pages that you need to upgrade your cloak from ranks 13 and 15 and made it so that those torn pages of fear and flesh that you're getting in that middle bit so that you can get up to four from a given run instead of limiting it to two. Um, you can get up to four if you do a full clear, you get one per side area. It's important to remember though, that applies for that middle stage uh, where you're getting torn pages of fear and flesh that will not apply for the later stages we're coming up to where you're gonna be getting pages from lost areas. Those will still be capped at two per run because there's only two lost areas in a given run. The other thing to watch out for is that while they've removed the cap on vessels, there is still a 25,000 cap on coalescing visions themselves in your currency tab. So, you know, check that once in a while and then go buy your vessels because there's nothing else to use those for. So just buy your vessels before you overcap. You don't want to forget that you're getting more because of all these juicy buffs and then burn a bunch because you overcapped. I'm really excited to see these hot fixes. I have been starting to get a little bit lazy on keeping up with Ultimate Veil daily, so this should help me keep my cloak up to date. Um, I would still really, 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 really like to see some form of formalized cloak catch up for alts. I know Essence's account wide for alts would also be great and I'm fully aboard that train, but I don't think Blizzard is at this point or we probably would have noticed. So I'm crossing my fingers for um, not account wide cloak upgrades, but something given that this is such a central system and it is so time intensive to progress through, any kind of cloak catch up for alts would be like real good. Oh, there was one more hot fix actually that will make the assaults just a teeny tiny bit better. Um, specifically, the one in Vale where the final assault boss is all the way in that crazy cave and like, you know, down some stairs and around a corner and it's like a, a 40 minute run to get down there. They have made it now so that after you kill that boss, after you kill Vilrax, he will spawn a little portal <laughs> that you can take to at least get out of that cave. Uh, nothing will really help you get in there, but at least you don't have to either hearth out and fly back or turn around and run all the way back or, you know, get tricked by that uh, promising looking staircase ahead of you that you're like, they wouldn't make us run all the way back. There must be a way up across here and there's not. So portal now, that's nice. I have to say my biggest complaint about horrific visions at this point, and mind you, I do like them overall, but the thing that I dislike the most is that you're doing the exact same 20 minute or so piece of content over and over and over and over again, or at least that's what I end up doing. 
Um, I, when I go to run Horrific Visions, I want to do a bunch of them in a row so that I can pop like one flask, um, you know, eat one food buff and then use those for more than one run since consumables are so expensive. So I'm doing it over and over again. And within a given week, there is no variation in your strategy. You're just doing the same thing. And it's such a long and focused piece of content that that can be really draining. Uh, and sure, you know, week to week, it mixes up a little bit because you go between Stormwind and Orgrimmar. And, you know, I guess within a given run, the potion colors are different. And, you know, the madnesses will change a little bit, but I don't find the madnesses really impact how you do the run very much at all. It's just like one little thing to watch out for. So, um, yeah, I wish they were less repetitive. I like them. I think it's a strong start of a concept. And I really hope that when Torghast comes around in Shadowlands, they have designed it in such a way, and I feel like they will, that you're not just doing the exact same thing every time because that does get old pretty quick. As of this week, there has been no further word on Shadowlands alpha progress aside from additional encrypted builds. Those keep coming, but nobody's in them yet. And trust me, when anybody is in, you will know because the internet is going to be plastered. So we're all just kind of sitting tight and, and waiting. For my week in WoW, I did my first masked run in a horrific vision. I have been doing full clears for, I think, two weeks on my Shadow Priest, doing solo Shadow Priest runs and I took that first mask you get the half sanity one and did my first full clear with that and it wasn't so bad um I found I find that the further the more you get your titan research tree filled out uh the easier base visions get to the point that you can kind of just run them sanity neutral like you're getting almost more sanity back just from killing elites than you get than you lose in everything else so I'm starting to see how masks fit in although I'm definitely not running like five mask clears yet those are scary my private guild is also ahead of the curve now we killed a heroic Nazoth last night um I think the biggest struggle for us on that fight was really just nailing down our plan for how we want to pull Psychus around during the down phase because we had some issues with uh, anguish underneath our bodies and then everybody's just dying horribly while they run to try to get back up top. So once we sorted that out, everything was more or less cake. It went really smooth. Questions from this week. Christopher asks, do you think that essences are still a thing in Shadowlands? I'm hesitating to make an ult because of the essence grind and then it will just go away when Shadowlands opens. Essences will absolutely not be part of Shadowlands. Those are directly part of the Heart of Azeroth BFA system, uh, similar to the way that we left artifact weapons behind in Legion and along with them we left behind like the relic slots and all that. Um, those were a BFA specific system, so there will be no more essences. They, it's not to say that they won't do a similar system um, that, that functions the same, that's a tough call, but whatever they do will be new to Shadowlands. Taryn asks, I'm going to be a new cat mom. Congratulations. Uh, any tips? She's a rescue five to six month old black and white kitty. Um, okay, so I scoured my brain for my best kitten tips, but of course, you know, disclaimer, cats are going to be cats and many of them are different. So your mileage may vary. Top tip is that if there's any surface that you do not want your cat to be on, put aluminum foil and I like to fold over the edges so that they're not sharp, but put aluminum foil anywhere that you don't want your cat to walk because nine cats out of 10 does not want to step on that. And that's very useful for keeping them off of places that might be unsafe for them. Second tip is if you have house plans, do a little inventory of them and figure out if A, your cat can get to them and B, if they are toxic to cats, because many of them are. And my third tip is if at all possible, get your new kitty used to you handling her paws. Because if you can get to a point where she will let you extend her claws one by one so that you can clip them at home, that is huge. So just handle the paws, touch the paws, uh, stop as if she's getting a annoyed and um, and hopefully you can get to that point because it's very helpful. Oh, and then one more thing that I did before I got my cat that was a little obsessive, but I felt was actually helpful is I watched a bunch of videos on cat body language to try to understand her more so that we could communicate, you know, as best as one does with one cat, but just kind of looking up some basic cat um, behaviors and body languages so that you can understand how they're feeling better um, helps a lot. So things like, you know, a tail that is straight up and down if they're like walking towards you is usually a greeting. Um, if the tail starts like whipping back and forth really fast, your cat is probably annoyed and maybe you should give them some space. An open mouth that stays open is usually either stress or something smells really, really interesting uh, stuff like that it's kind of it's also those are cute videos to watch because they have cats in them and congrats on your new kitty terry asks do you think that a new player could join wow absolutely and i say that with confidence because i have seen it and it's remarkable um, it's absolutely not too late so factors that i think will affect whether or not this new player has success 
Um, one of them would be, of course, whether or not they have friends that already play, or if not, can they can they make friends? Can they connect with the community? Because that is huge. Uh, you can play solo and have a perfectly good time, but um, especially for a new player, having more experienced players that are friendly and non-judgmental around you makes a massive difference when you're just kind of getting the hang of the ropes because there's a lot, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of baseline knowledge to learn that everybody's forgotten they even know because they've known it for so long. So having people that don't mind slowing it down and explaining things to you um, helps. Not necessary, but does help. And then uh, know your resources. Um, if if I was new and all, and honestly, even though I'm not, I keep Wowhead bookmarked. And to this day, if I'm doing a quest and I'm the tiniest bit confused, I am searching that quest on Wowhead to see what the comments have to say. And that just about sums up my week. Thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know what you think. Um, curious, curious, weigh in in the comments about whether or not you think token for classic is a good idea. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not hard set either way, but I'm really interested to see what you guys think. Have a great weekend and a wonderful, wonderful day.